Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today I'm in Disneyland and I mean, I'm actually starting out in downtown Disney, obviously, but yes, this is probably a terrible place to be filming this just because there's so much construction chaos going on behind me, but we'll just ignore that. Anyway, I wanna have a really nice Disney day today. I wanna eat some food, go on some rides, maybe look at a little merch, but either way, come along with me, let's hang out, and yes, let's have an amazing Disney day today. I always come in this way because I like the walk from the parking structure, but look at this very empty skyline. There is absolutely nothing here anymore. Well, I'm sure there is lots of, you know, stuff behind that, that little fence, but yes, a very empty skyline. I can't wait to see what else they make for downtown Disney because I think change is nice. Change is good, but yeah, very different. I am so hungry right now, but I can't help but get distracted by Star Wars Trading Post because it's been forever since I've been inside of here and I'm going to be going to Star Wars night, so I don't know. I'm in a Star Wars-y kind of mood. Right off the bat, I'm not seeing anything insanely new or insanely interesting, although I do like this hat. I don't wear hats often, but I love the embroidery on that. That is so cute. Stormtroopers? Is it two stormtroopers? Yep, we got two stormtroopers. That is a nice little hat. They have what appears to be scrunchies. There's one that's a holographic print, and then they have one right there with a print, and I can't tell if there's more in there, but yes, I haven't seen these before, so that's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like somebody already opened this, so we can actually take a peek. Okay, so yes, there is just the one that has the print, and oh my goodness, there's so many tags. <laughs> there's so many tags inside of this. Okay, and then the holographic one, so you get two of them. Why is it the kids get all of the cool stuff? I love this shirt. Okay, these are all patches and I think they look pretty awesome. I wonder if there's anything on the back, but I assume there's not. Either way, I love this shirt and I am so sad the kids get all the cool stuff. I think it would be totally amiss if we had a shopping trip that did not involve trying on a new pair of ears. So, I found the silliest ones I could. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, I like that he has floppy little ears. Okay, let's see in the viewfinder. Okay, he looks a little silly on me, but isn't that the point? I like that he has a little frog too. <laughs> He's so pudgy and he has funny little ears. I like this. I agree. I realized while editing that I don't know how to pronounce words or names at all. Ever. Ahsoka Tano. So these Ashoka ears are definitely not new, but they definitely reminded me that they have a new dessert at Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland, and it's Ashoka themed, so I feel like we need to get that today. So unfortunately, I'm not really seeing anything that's new here at, you know, Star Wars Trading Post, but they do have a new lightsaber over at Galaxy's Edge, so maybe we'll pop over there and we'll also get that Ashoka dessert at Tomorrowland. That sounds kind of like a good plan. I love you, Lego store, but unfortunately I have priorities today and that is to get some food right away. I will say the one thing that does make me a little sad every time I pass by this store is that all of the Legos are kind of sun bleached and, you know, they're just not looking their most vibrant selves. Yay! Okay, so we've made it into Disneyland and I just saw two people skipping by and that made me really happy. But anyway, okay, mission get food is like the most important thing right now. So I tried to mobile order that Ashoka dessert, but it wasn't in stock. So we're gonna head over to Galactic Grill and see if we can actually order it, which makes me sad because I love mobile ordering. <laughs> Okay, so we made it over to Galactic Grill and look, I can already see what it is that I want. If only my camera would uh, focus on it is all. Okay, so there, do you see? It's the orange vanilla parfait. Ooh, and there's a picture of it. Yes, okay, that's exactly what I want. So, a Shoko Tano dessert acquired and it looks so good. And I will also say, so I obviously was starving and I got a burger. I got the steakhouse burger over at Galactic Grill. It's the seasonal offering, or I shouldn't say it's the seasonal offering because I swear that I've had it before. I mean, I know they bring stuff back sometimes, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like I've had it. Let me tell you what was in it though. Okay, so it was an Angus beef patty, provolone, onion strings, sweet spiced bacon, and space sauce on a toasted bun. So the only reason why I think it was maybe a teensy tiny bit different is because it tasted a little bit more like A1 sauce than barbecue sauce. And I feel like the last time I had it, it was like straight barbecue sauce. But either way, I think that overall, it was probably one of the better Galactic Grill burgers that I've had in a while because 
I hate to say it, but Galactic Grill does kind of terrible burgers. And I feel like the space sauce, I mean, I love barbecue sauce and I love steak sauce. So it was kind of nice that like it added moisture back to what, you know, one of the biggest problems about Galactic Grill burgers is, is that they're usually dry. Like the patty is dry, the bun is dry. It's just bland and dry. <laughs> but I mean, I pretty much, I would say that it was much better than another Galactic Grill Burger. It was definitely better than the Magic Key offering, which was the last burger I got here, and that one was really weird. I will say weird because I didn't hate it, but I definitely didn't love it, and yeah. <laughs> So the Ashoka dessert, it's layers of orange sponge cake, orange marmalade, striped white chocolate mousse. And of course they didn't even mention that it has her dual lightsabers right there. And I like that it's so brightly orange colored and I love those crispy pearls on the bottom. I love the texture of those drinks, so I have a feeling I'm gonna love that. And it definitely has like a very sweet cream, sweet tangerine -y kind of like scent to it. So I already like that, but okay, let's find, <gasps> did I get a spoon? Okay, wait, I think I have a spoon. Okay, spoon acquired. So yes, I'm very excited about this. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. I love how brightly colored the cake is. Mmm. Okay, I love how bright and sunny the like orange flavor is. It is very like out there. I don't wanna, I mean, it's obviously like an artificially flavor, but it's pretty nice. I actually really like that. And the cream is like very nice. Okay, let me get a little bit of the marmalade. Ooh, I don't wanna ruin it though. Okay, I'll dig in from the side. Probably a terrible idea, but that's totally fine. Okay, there, I found it. I like had to dig deep down. And then I love the little popping, they're not popping pearls, they're like textured pearls. I love whenever they have these in desserts because it gives such a good crunch and texture. So yeah. I got really excited when I bit into one of them. These things are so good. And honestly, I feel like that really makes it. I actually really like this. This one is worth it. I am a little bit sad I didn't get the Boba Fett one. The one that was cherry pistachio. I also don't usually love cherry. Maybe that was why I wasn't like itching to get it right away, but I definitely recommend this. I love it. And plus it has her little dual lightsabers on there. So you can't hate that. to transport power. Please be seated. Boo! Okay, so I tried to get on Rise of the Resistance because like I said, I was in a Star Wars-y kind of mood, right? So I waited about 40 minutes, which really isn't that bad, but as soon as I got on the ride vehicle, it broke down. So <laughs> it's too bad. And honestly, I can't complain because I usually have incredible luck on that ride. I very rarely have it break down on me. So yeah, I can't really complain. But anyway, I'm walking out of Disneyland. I'm going to World of Disney because I want to see if they have new merch. Okay, World of Disney. Let's do this. Let's see what new stuff we can find. Oh my goodness. Okay, as soon as you walk in, you see the new emo display and look, they restocked Kermit. They haven't had him in a very long time. They have had him on Shop Disney, but he is so adorable. And his skin, uh, I mean his fur, his, uh, I don't know what you would call that. It's a little bit fuzzy. It's a little bit nubby and it's very adorable. They also have Zootopia characters in, I was about to call them people, but no, they are animals. In fact, they are new emos, but Judy Hopps, I like her ears. That is so cute. And then, okay, I won't lie, I can't remember his name. <laughs> but yes, he's here too. And I love that he has a little tie and a little shirt. That is so cute. They just got a new lounge fly in this week and check it out, it has Olaf on it. It has Olaf and it has Bruni. That's his name, right, Bruni? But it, oh my gosh, you know what? I didn't even realize it has little things written all over it. It says, I don't even know a Samantha. <gasps> and then it says, Sam Samantha? I don't even know a Samantha. I love that. What else does it say? A triple scoop of awesome and feisty and fiery. Do you see that right there? That is so cute. And he's in like different little poses. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's a little bit metallic, like the blue leather part of it. That is metallic. But yeah, I don't think it's showing up very well on camera, but it's very pretty. Let's see. 
Ooh, actually, you can see it much better on the back straps. Yes, it is very nice and shimmery and pretty. Okay, I really want a lounge fly. I genuinely don't own one. Isn't that so shocking? I wanted to show you the lining because I feel like that's an important part of a lounge fly and it has snowflakes and it has a loft silhouette in different poses. They also have this lounge fly, which is definitely not new. I'm pretty sure that this is from Animal Kingdom and, you know, a few years ago, in fact. The other thing I was gonna point out is, ooh, I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to grab something, but yes. Here it is. They have Mickey ears, or mini ears, I should say, that match with it, but they do have hidden Mickeys in them. Isn't that so cute? I really wish they had put hidden Mickeys in this. I think that would have really, truly made this an amazing bag, but yes. How cute is that little set? Look at this. I haven't seen this spirit jersey before. This is a super vibrant orange right at the bottom, and it fades up into a really pretty peach. And it doesn't have any glitter or any sparkle or anything like that. It's just a flat color and has the Disneyland D logo on the front. But yes, that's very pretty. I think I, I was confused at first because this does look so familiar, right? But then I was like, no, I haven't seen this before. Oh my gosh, okay. I was walking back to my car and then I was like, oh, I have to film an outro. So yes, this is me ending the video right here. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you had a fun time coming along with me. I had an amazing, amazing Disney day. So yes, I hope you had fun coming along. But either way, I will catch you guys in the next one and I'll say thank you one more time. Thank you. <laughs> See ya.